Hello, this is Nick from Income Digs. Welcome to this video tutorial where I show you the exact tools that I use to execute various business processes within my personal real estate business. Today's video is going to be another Podio quick tip, a little bit more advanced, but uh, should be pretty easy. I'll try to lay out the exact steps to follow. And this uh, specific tip is going to focus on how we can make our app items a little bit more organized and easy to navigate through. And it's something that we can uh, solve with a pretty quick calculation. So I'm going to get into it real quick. I'm going to use the renters app as an example of this. So um, we'll often have app items where we have several fields and we might get lost within the app item as we scroll through. We kind of don't know where we're at. We don't know uh, what we're looking at, what kind of data it is. And it could potentially be helpful to set up some different sections within this app item. Now that's not something we can do within Podio natively itself. There's no option to add sections or anything like that. But we're able to do it with a calculation field. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I use and um, some others in the community have been using this as well. Um, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a calculation field to pull in kind of an image, an image with words, um, that's going to serve as section headers for our app items. So to do that, we're gonna go. We're gonna use a website called dummyimage.com, and I'm gonna to link to all this in the uh, video comments here. But um, basically, what we're gonna do this is a website where we can just create a quick image, and um, we're gonna use this. So take a look at what we could do here if we wanted to create an image and download it in a certain format, and whatnot. We can change the size of this thing um, by entering in some data here. So we can make this kind of a, a long strip, a long rectangle. We can change the background color, the foreground color. We can put words in it as well. For example, um, you're gonna see what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this to create uh, section headers uh, for my renters, okay? So another thing we can do is obviously change the colors. So um, if we grab a color, you can see I just changed the background color there. And also we changed the, uh, the font to white. So this is an image that I would like to bring into Podio somehow. All right, so we're able to use a calculation to go and grab that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I, I have it built already, um, and I'm going to copy this coding into the uh, the video comments as well, so you can just copy and paste it. But basically, what uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to take this app item and I'm going to insert a couple calculation fields. All right, so the first is going to go, um, we're going to put this right above status. And again, this is going to be a calculation and I don't need the label to be there. And basically I'm going to, I'm going to use one that I've already done. Don't, no need to reinvent the wheel. I'm going to copy and paste this in. And basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm going to this dummyimage.com and I'm creating variables for all those things that you just saw me change, the size, the color, the, the verbiage, etc. And I'm plugging those variables in here. All right. So the 800 by 40 is already in there. The background color I want to use is that one I went and just grabbed. It was, oops, it was in my clipboard. I got to go put it back. So it's that uh, white asphalt, wet asphalt. So go in here and copy and paste that in. The foreground text is all white, which is the six Fs. And then the verbiage I want to use is renter flow. And this should be ready to go. Now when you copy things in, um, Podio needs some kind of variable. So you're going to need to go back and just retype this. Start typing at unique ID and bring it up. And uh, you should be all set. So if I click done here, what should happen is that image comes into my Podio app item. I can't click it, I can't do anything with it, but what it does is it helps to start separating out the different sections of my um, item. So I call it renter flow. I call it that because that's kind of the flow that um, I use with interested renters. Their status, do I send them an intro email, an application, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so let's try one more time. I wanna uh, add another header. Down here I have a bunch of kind of admin data. This is really the data that the uh, renter would fill in when they fill out my web form. So they're gonna fill out a bunch of this stuff and may maybe I wanna separate that out just so it's easier for me to see in there, okay? So I'm gonna show you how we can do that. Um, again, we'll modify the template. Go to where you want, um, 
this calculation to go. Click and drag it in. And again, we don't need a, um, a field label. All right, I'm gonna go up to the one I just did. I'm just gonna copy and paste it. Again, no need to reinvent. I would like the background colors to be the same, etc. Scroll down to my calculation, paste it in there. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring back this unique ID again. When you copy and paste, it will disappear. The variable will disappear. So you need to start typing to get it back. All right, so my variables are in here. I just wanna change this, the verbiage. I wanna change it from renter flow to renter profile. All right, let's click done and see if that worked. There's renter flow up there and then renter profile down here. Cool, right? So it all works out nicely. And this just helps me to not get lost, right? Um, and especially, you know, you, a lot of people make Podio items that have tons of fields, maybe close to 100 fields. These headings can really help you to understand where you are in the app item and not get confused and overwhelmed with a bunch of different fields, all right? So you should give this a shot. Again, I'll, I'll paste the code into the uh, video there, but uh, it's really easy. You can use whatever colors you want. If you wanna use your own branding, that's kind of what I did. My uh, colors for my business are a darker blue, so it helps with the whole look and feel of the entire Podio experience, all right? Let me know if you have any questions on this. If it's not working out or you're not sure how or why it works, feel free to let me know and uh, I'd be happy to talk with you through the comments, all right? Until the next video, um, feel free to check out all of the free resources available at IncomeDigs.com and thanks for watching.